security was tight at the Monarch Gala, you took quite a risk walking into the lion's den. If we were going to kidnap Dr. Amaral, then we needed to do it from the inside. Beth Wilder. You were quick to trust her. We had common interests. Is that all you had? That's all we needed. Thanks for showing up. Here, I thought this was going to be a rescue. Right, there's a story here. You know a guy called Hatch? Serene's right-hand man. He was here. He gave me this big speech about how he wants to take down Paul. I hope you said no. I didn't trust him for a second. He set me loose anyways, told me to wait for an opening. I just gave you one. Appreciate it. What's it look like out there? I think you're secure. Everyone's concentrating on the party. So far, your crazy plan's working. And Dr. Emerald? I don't have a fix on her. She's either at the party or at her office at the R&D facility here on the island. I'll scout out the party. So you're gonna sip champagne while I break into a high security installation. Looks like you got this all figured out. I'll save you a cocktail, Weenie. Oh, well, in that case... My cover isn't gonna survive the night, but it'll last a little longer, so you can't walk out the front door with me. This is the quickest way to the R&D facility. I disabled the security at the back door, but there'll be guards. Contact me when you're clear. And Jack, you know what's at stake here. This can't be about revenge. I'm not here for Paul. Hey! He's escaping! Heard in the morning. My powers were growing. I was learning to control them better. That felt good. <sighs> Who the hell designs these doors? Okay, we're gonna have to move faster to get through. Hey, Beth, I'm clear. What's next? You'll see a radar tower up ahead soon. Let me know when you get inside. All right. Very sci-fi and very monarch. Something tells me it wasn't commissioned by them, though. about that one, Beth. Okay, how am I getting to that radar tower? Let's 
try this again. Explain the dry docks thing to the public. Hey, it was just our people there. We can spin it however we want. Call it an accident. Or pin it on Joyce. Yeah, he might as well take the blame for the mess he made. Time felt broken here. The whole cannon felt unstuck in time. The timeline of the old cannon felt loose. I could shift it around. Smart place to aim the cannon, guys. I've been thinking. Monarch projections say these stutters are getting more frequent. If one hits while we're grabbing Dr. Amaral... You'll be frozen. Yeah, I know. It's a risk. Monarch specialist troopers have the stutterproof gear. I bet Dr. Amaral would have that in her office, too. I'll keep an eye out. See if I can grab it for you.
gates leading to the tower. Let me know when you get there. Thanks, Beth. Stop the radar tower. Beth? I'm at the radar tower. Where's the lab? Blow your feet. It's all top secret. The elevator inside will take you down. Oh, seriously? <laughs> what is this, a Bond villain layer? You have no idea. Just don't fall into the shark tank. Fuck. a momentous occasion for years we have been building towards this day. Speech years is of streaming. planning, developing, Let's give Monarch the audience training. they deserve. For me personally, this marks the end of a 17-year journey, and today we emerge from the shadows. We do so accepting great responsibility. I present to you the CFR, the Cronon Field Regulator. This device has been at the heart of our Cronon research since 2010, but I am here to assure you that it is so much more than just that. This device will be our salvation, and as promised, it is ready. To some of you, this means nothing. To others, everything. Rest assured, you will all know when the time is right. We are entering a volatile age. Great danger is coming our way. It cannot be prevented, but we can be protected. Beth, I'm about to take the elevator. Is Paul still fond of his own voice? Yeah, he's talking about his survival plan. Crowd's eating it up. Just lit up. They know you're 
Dr. Amaral's office. Looks like that's one level up. this The device drained my powers. We refer to it as a chronon dampener. Gotta get to Dr. Admiral's office. Serene ordered Hatch to kill me because he didn't want to put his plan at risk. But seeing the scale of that facility, I started realizing just how deep that plan went. It made me wonder. Time was ending. What was it all for? The chart showed that all of Monarch's major technological advancements started in 2010. Around the same time that something else happened. Ground Zero.
What the fuck? The device drained my powers. We refer to it as a chronon dampener. <laughs> the device drained my powers. We refer to it as a chronon dampener. Serene ordered Hatch to kill me because he didn't want to put his plan at risk. And seeing the scale of that facility, I started realizing just how deep that plan went. It made me wonder. Time was ending. What was it all for? The alarm would trigger as soon as the stutter broke. I was on board with time. Dr. Amaral's office. Looks like that's one level up. These things were designed by walking tanks. They weren't for you. Don't flatter yourself. Which way is Amaral's office? It was clear that Monarch had been building the Chronon technology for years. They were prepared for the fracture. None of it would have been possible without the CFR. Oh, hello.
try that again. This isn't the usual employee route. Nobody here knows about the mess I made on the way in. Nice job, Beth. Emerald's office. The gear Beth wanted was supposed to be in Dr. Emerald's office. I had to get it for her before I left. Guns made to operate in a stutter. Paul had clear priorities. When time ends, guns don't. <laughs> 